All right, guys, welcome to another video. Western Sharpies RC. Glad you could join me. Part two of this uh, shipping container build uh, that I've been working on. I 3D printed a, a 14 scale C can here um, that you saw in the first video if you've been following along. And I thought I'd uh, do another little video here just to kind of document the footage as uh, the build progresses. Just in case you want to build one of these yourselves, um, you can kind of see what I've, what I've done, kind of the process. Uh, it's a little trickier than you'd think. I've made a few mistakes, so hopefully uh, some of this stuff helps out uh, preventing you guys from making some of the same mistakes. Uh, but for the most part, it's a, it's a straightforward uh, print. You know, it's a, it's a long print. It'll beat the hell out of your printer, but uh, it's really nice. Um, so all the pieces are printed up. Like I said, I got the body printed from the last video, and then I've since... I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys, so apologize for the shakiness and all that. But anyway... You can kind of see here, this is the front of the container. And I've installed this piece here. You can see I've sanded, I've got some filling to do, but um, I've installed this piece, which is some crazy glue and uh, the, the existing holes. You could probably use some regular uh, screws or, or a bolts, but I've decided to use uh, just these little, these little nails. Cause I kind of like the, the finish of them. They got a nice low profile to them. Um, so they go right through these holes right here. I apologize to you guys, my hands are looking pretty beat up, but um, you can kind of see that there. And then I'll probably, once they're installed, uh, paint them the same color as the, uh, as the container. So you can see here the, uh, the original blue PLA that, the, that I printed it on. And I, I didn't like that finish because it's kind of got a bit of a sheen to it. You can kind of see in the light. And most containers have a, have a, have a matte finish. So... I picked this stuff up here, uh, cho or coastal blue. I mean, it's blue, but it's a it's matte, and I like that. So um, this is kind of what it looks like. These are all the pieces here. Um, there's some cross members on the bottom that I've installed already there, and then the front piece which you've seen, and then these two doors, and the uh, the door frame. And what I was saying earlier about the mistakes that I made, I printed these things like three times, and uh, total pain in the ass because I didn't print them with uh, much infill and they kind of warped a little bit and that's not going to be good when you go to uh, line them up in your door frame because um, they'll sit cockeyed and, and they won't close well and it'll drive you nuts so um, that's what you don't want to do so I've printed these with a with a, a lot of infill so they're really heavy and you kind of even see the supports on the other side I'm not even going to remove these supports I'm going to leave them like that I think they kind of look cool but anyway uh, I've painted them about four times now and they've you can kind of see here, they've slowly filled in some of the infill lines. I'll probably not get rid of all of them, but uh, I've sanded them and I'm going to go uh, paint them again here. But I thought I'd just demonstrate uh, what they look like on the container before I, uh, I do that. So anyway, um, I've got a really cool uh, vinyl decal made up for me. And I'll put this girl's name who made this for me. Um, she did a really nice job. And uh, once this goes on and I make sure it works properly, I'll put a link down to her uh, page. So you guys can uh, maybe, if you want something custom made, that's what she did for me. Um, there's a hundred different containers out there with uh, brands, you know, Hanjin, uh, China Shipping, Costco, you know, OCL, Happy Lloyd, blah, 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 blah. Um, the, the Tamiya one is a, I think there's a Maersk and a, a New York something lines or whatever. But I wanted, uh, I wanted this one here. I knew it was going to be in blue, so I went with a. Uh, I googled some blue cans out there, and I found um, this one here. It's called Saf Marine, and uh, I got to pull all this stuff off. But anyway, you can kind of see she did a really nice job with the, uh, with the decal, and I'll get that on there like so. Uh, so we sized it really good, and then uh, once that's all painted up, I'll have all the, uh, the badging done. Um, so it looks really scale. Um, all the, you know, you see on the back doors, you see the tear weights and, and all those numbers and stuff like that. There's a few numbers that come down the, uh, the side of the container and all that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to include all this footage, like I said, in case you, you, you build one of these things yourselves. Um, hopefully this helps out. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll put this together here. What else do I want to show you here before I put the, the phone down? I found these old uh, flag markers. Uh, I think uh, land surveyors use these things. 
and I put them away and I said to myself, I'll use them one day and today's the day that I'm going to use them. They're going to come in really handy for the, uh, for the handles on the doors. So anyway, I'll put the phone down here. I got my trusty, uh, my new phone stand here that I got off Amazon. I'm going to try that thing out and then uh, you guys can kind of see what, uh, what it looks like so far. So I'll get the phone down and uh, we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, continuing on here, I got the uh, the doors um, installed into the uh, door frame, just temporarily, but I've got all the screws in there, and I'll probably paint those uh, the same blue as the uh, the doors here, but not too sure. But anyway, it's just kind of temporarily affixed to the body. Like I said, I'll uh, I'll glue the uh, the frame to the body and then continue on. But just to show you guys um, the, the 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 fit, really nice. Um, you can kind of see everything lines up really good. Like I said, just make sure if you're printing this, you use a lot of density so that they're really firm or uh, I don't know what the proper word is. Uh, just really dense so that there's no warpness. Um, otherwise, like I said, you're going to have some, some cockeyed issues with, uh, with these doors closing properly. So anyway, once that's done, this is the process that I found um, that you're going to need to, to follow. Uh, you, you paint everything up. And then you add your, your badging if you're going to. And then is when you add these upright uh, rods or the, or the handles, whatever you want to call them. Because you won't be able to afterwards um, ins install the, uh, the handle portion. So you have to be very careful because this will all be finished, painted. And then, uh, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but I'm on to something, guys. So that goes in there like that. Okay, so what I'm talking about is this little handle here, um, which is going to sit right in there. I'm just using that little nail as an example. But basically what I'm saying is once you uh, attach that handle, you can't do it before because you won't be able to clear these hinges. So you have to do it um, afterwards. It'll be the last thing you do. And then you can kind of lift up the handle like that and then kind of twist the, the door lock or whatever you want to call it and then open and close the door. So... Um, I'll probably JB weld that or maybe uh, if I can get some solder on there without messing up the paint. Um, that would be nice because it is going to be functional and I don't want it to bust off. So anyway, that's pretty much it guys. There's the C-can. The next video will be a presentation video. It all finished up with the uh, with the uh, the decals, all the, the badging and all that. So uh, really excited how it's turned out. Um, I like to make a few more of these things, like I said, orange and green and all the different uh, names and stuff like that. Maybe even make a, a, a few that are that are beat up, right, with the uh, the patina and the rust and, and all the dents and stuff like that that, you, that you'd see on a, on a typical shipping container. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below if you got any questions. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.